12, almost 13. This is my beginning for me. Positioning myself, my stance, I'm very hopeful through the natural. What I do need to do right now. That has to do with improving your life. Now, I love coming to this optometrist, uh, but not really. <laughs> I start my day with a custom-made drink that anyone can make. The energy drink, the vitamin water, without any additional chemicals other than the minerals and the vitamins, and the orange juice. We don't get enough of the vitamins and minerals from food sources anymore. The soil is not as rich, even in my country of origin. People are complaining what's going on, but this is happening worldwide. And that's because we're growing. Numbers are growing. We need to have a more production of everything. And the quickest way to do it is by fertilizing, using different methods that are not the best ones. And that's why we end up with foods that are not as rich anymore and there's some other reasons of course but uh, at the end of the day we need to find a way to add more minerals and vitamins to our bodies and uh, of course i am all about getting it through the natural sources vegetables fruits but we also need to add a supplement to kind of balance the lack of let's go now This is my baby, my 12, almost 13 year old, and she is snacking on her teens. I need to do what she's been doing. She's adding a lot more protein to her diet. I need more protein, a moderate amount of carbs, and definitely less chocolate covered nuts. when they're not with me but a real workout is with free weights dynamic functional style or training so that's what I'm gonna be doing today upper body ab work shoulders posterior anterior deltoids so Quick update for those that don't know me, I got COVID, then I got stomach sick, I actually found out that I have an ulcer. So it's been really difficult for me to adjust everything again. Uh, I am going back to work and uh, it's just been so difficult to just put all things together. So I decided just to give you a little bit of uh, entrance to my life and show you what I'm doing. So that's where I'm at right now. I'm actually adjusting to my workout schedule, eating schedule, sleeping schedule, working schedule, everything. So whew, a lot, a lot going on. So let's go ahead and start with the workout. Let's go get that done. I'm beginning the workout with some dynamic stretches. It's important that we warm up our bodies the proper way before. I give it five to ten minutes, quick ones, and we leave the prolonged, sustained, static stretches for last. And that is to not only prepare the muscles, but we also want to lubricate the joints, release tension from any part that might be tense due to stress and so forth. And I also wanna apologize for having a mouth and a gum in my mouth, <laughs> a big mouth for sure, um, sometimes. And the reason is because I have ADHD. That's a disorder that makes it really difficult for certain people to focus. I like challenges. There's times when I don't rely on anything 
but today I do feel like I needed a little prop so that way I'm able to focus, record, and do a good job for you. I am having a difficult time with my balance trying to do it the right way technique alignment is important so I was trying to make sure that I was aligning my elbows the right way and that I was also finding a good support from the bottom up and I felt like I wasn't having that as much I feel like I also need to work on my lower body more and I feeling tired to be honest already but I'm gonna get it done sorry I cheated at the end I didn't clean the last four be gracious to me energy generates my energy enjoy yourself that's the song I'm vibing with and music helps me to just get in the zone and feel more energized. getting distracted again I love movement all right now we're going to do a combination we're gonna do different variations you don't have to do them all at once I just like to go from one to the next one so that way I can um, target the muscle a lot better I want to damage it I know it sounds so cruel but that's the only way I'm going to grow it and see more definition when we are tearing it down breaking down muscle tissue that's when the, it has to repair and through that process it builds some more and uh, that's what i want I'm having a really difficult time with this one here. I am positioning myself. My stance is a little bit tricky here and that, that is because I want to target my core. I said we're going to target the abs and its section. That's what we're doing. In order for me to really lift that barbell, I need to rely on my core. And even though it's super hard for me at this moment I am not gonna stop until I get it done and if I look like a fool in front of people let it be it but I am going to improve that is for sure as I am strengthening my body again and work on my balance I'm almost done I got this This one is going to engage the shoulders, but it's mainly for your core. The belt that I'm wearing helps me sweat, and that is going to help me lose some belly fat. <laughs> Not exactly, it's just the water retention that I have there. And I am suffering right now, just uh, trying to work everything at the same time is it's really challenging 
and uh, I hope this motivates you I am not trying here to look dumb <laughs> on my videos but I felt like I really needed to show you that uh, anyone has a beginning this is my beginning for me and I am gonna show you what a consistency discipline and effort time not giving up is going to do for me as I continue improving my techniques and working out and this is it I already completed all my sets and I'm just going to do a little bit of cardio at the end which I recommend you do add some minutes of cardiovascular training and now time for some well-deserved stretches these are my static ones I try to hold them for a little bit I try to shorten them for the video's sake but I did spend a lot more time stretching I needed it more than I needed the workout itself I felt like my body was under tremendous stress during COVID and then my stomach was just not good for many days weeks I would say I'm still recovering and that just put a lot of stress everywhere and now I am finally having some time to decompress distress relax I wasn't relaxing at all I was worried I was trying not to say that I wasn't just because you're sitting down laying down that doesn't mean you're resting you could be so worried with so many things in your mind and not relax at all so now doing that as I am seeing my body recovering I am just uh, relying more on on what's coming I know God has a good plan for me and he's gonna help me get healthier I'm very hopeful and full of life all done with the workout feeling accomplished okay now it's time to get a good amount of protein so i can build the muscle and give my body what it needs so come with me let's go grab a good meal i am so hungry then i gotta go adjust my glasses and take a look at some uh, designer glasses come with me let's go <laughs> Here we are at Panera. I like it. They have good options. They have enough of the good ones and the not so good ones. I've been wanting to eat some of these food, but I just feel like I won't be able to handle it. So I am introducing foods slowly. I got a bite or two, maybe a few from my dad who saw a hamburger the other day. So yeah. Charge stuff. I am so hungry. I'm about to devour these four eggs. Eggs have about six grams of protein, five of fat, and the soup has about 15 grams of protein. The so chicken Asian soup is super yummy at Panera. So I'm getting about 35 grams of protein total, and I'm having the bread, of course. You need your carbs. So make sure that you get carbs as well, okay? And if you're liking the video so far, make sure you give it a thumbs up and remember to subscribe. All right, I'm about to eat this meal. Yep. I am in a calorie deficit, which means that I am eating less than what I burn. And because of COVID, my energy and activity level right now is pretty low. So I don't need huge amounts of food. And because of that, I gained 10 pounds and I was eating properly and so forth. Now I need to eat more protein and I am also taking into consideration my body type. I am a mesomorphic and I also have some of the endomorphic. 
I need good amounts of protein just in general and uh, also because I am a bodybuilder I want to go back to bodybuilding so I need a lot more protein and of course I need to have my carbohydrates but I, what I do need to do right now is deplete the amount of fat that is in my body because that's what I was craving I was just craving for a chocolate when I was sick and that wasn't good so I am still having my fat as you can see I removed two of the yolks and that is because they have high levels of cholesterol and you don't need that much fat in your diet you need a certain uh, amounts depending on the, what body type you have time for some fun I love coming to this optometrist they have a great variety of glasses they have designers they even have Puma and I thought because they were Puma gonna look good on me <laughs> not really then I am trying certain style that I saw on someone but not really and then I try the ones that she suggested um, but not really I even tried this one the kitty cat one but okay. not really I think I'm just gonna stick to the thick on your face covering almost your whole face eat up. I can't wait to get in the tub maybe swim a little get some cardio in it was brutal I did feel it, but uh, I'm excited that I'm going back to to my routine. So, uh, looking forward and I'm feeling stronger. I'm feeling better. This day passed by. I can't wait. Really, I just uh, future looks brighter and brighter. So, looking forward to continue building muscle and uh, losing the weight and toning and all the good things remember to like subscribe ring the bell so you'll be notified of upcoming videos i'll continue share my expertise anything that has to do with improving your life your health your fitness your wellness is coming to you so make sure that you ring the bell so you won't miss any of these videos until then please take good care remember i love you and um, can't wait to see you until our next one bye